Good morning. It is Friday, March 20th, 2020. Happy spring. I believe today is the first day of spring. Uh, today is Friday, so that means modern league decks. And today in the dump, we have 58 decks to look at, so let's get moving. First off, Ak S gives us Mardu Shadow. It's a pretty straightforward build. I think I'm not seeing anything unusual here. But uh, yeah, here's one of our shadow variants. Sandroar is bringing us a Safi Eric's Daughter combo deck. Sort of humans. Yeah, it's humans with Coco. Are we five color? We are missing red, so we're four color. Four color humans with Safi Eric's Daughter and Renegade Rallier, Rallier combo, the cutthroat um, finish. Um, yeah, nice little nice little twist on human slash Coco. One two two Pablo has what do we got here? Glittering Wish, Fate Stitcher. This is just guy ascendancy. Interesting. Uh, yeah, just guy ascendancy deck. If you're looking for combo, here's some combo for you. Uh, M Hayashi with burn this is yep burn has kind of is kind of morphing a little bit you'll notice here um there's no boris charms um it's kind of turning into a prowess deck it's kind of a blend of the two now but this is this is what your burn decks are starting to look like seal of fire is a little interesting there um but yeah, Evan M13 with Tron, good old green Tron, three warm coil engines, only three Sylvan Scrying, two Thrag Tusk main, Kozilek main. That's a little unusual. That's not one I've seen very often. Uh, three Karn Great Creators. Okay, so we've got you know our uh, Karn Wishboard. Here, along with Leyline of Sanctity, Nature's Claim. Yep. Green Tron. It's, I think it's good right now. I think it's good right now. It's, it's been around forever. It will always be around. Um, it is part of modern like it or love it or hate it. We happen to like it. Swiss Rolls with Mono Blue Tron. Mind Slaver and all our good Mono Blue stuff. Go for the Mind Slaver lock. Win the game that way. Lollygagger 12 with Obzon Coco. Retreat to Coral Helm. Uh, so this is... This is just green-white, but it's a retreat. Knight of the Reliquary deck. 23 lands. Hushbringer is interesting. Dryad, so your lands or anything. Yep, green-white Coco. Um, value stuff. Um, a little surprising to see it. It's good to see this kind of deck uh, do well. P.S. Borrow with... Wow, Hollow One. Cool. I love Hollow One. I had so much fun with that deck when it first came out. I may have to give it a try. I need to get my Oxes. But, uh... Eldrazi Conscription? Wow, this is... This is... Oh, and Storm... This is a thing. Storm Herald? Okay. I see where we're going here. This is not your typical hollow one. Um, idea here. Storm Herald gets aura, creature auras. Um, actually, I guess just auras. It also will do land auras. Um, they don't have to be creature auras. But Storm Herald will get them out of the graveyard for a one-time shot. So if you can get an Eldrazi Conscription onto something, uh, you're in pretty good shape there. So uh, yeah, that looks like that's looks like fun. AGI, AJI Fly with Finale of Dev Devastation, Coco. Is this Obzon? This is another green white Coco deck. Um, this one doesn't have 
any combos in it that I see other than uh, so devoted druid so okay so this is the druid coco deck yep mana leak 90 merfolk mono blue merfolk yep biomancer is a key part of it now always sort of hanging around merfolk will never go away raging pikey with spirits and we are blue white. Yes, this is blue white spirits. So no cocos in this one. This is going more for the uh, tempo disruption style, force of negation. <clears throat> Mist Syndicate Naga inside. I like it. I like it. I'll do an MTG with uh, hate bears, or I guess. Eldra Eldrazi and Taxes. Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. With Arbiter, Thought Not Seer. Yep. Uh, this is a... So this one's using Stoneforge. Yeah. This is going to be your standard Stoneforge, Eldrazi and Taxes build. Bizarre Mati with Amulet Titan. And anything interesting here explore I'm, I'm not big on knowing the ins and outs of how amulets being built these days but i don't think explore has been a thing lately so that's an interesting tweak <clears throat> or return to what it was now that uh, once upon a time is gone uh going back to some older builds here uh b reset one two three with looks like blue black control or sopter thorn Thopter Sword. Hey, that was good. Sopter Thord. I don't think I've ever heard it said that way. That was that was bad. Um, yeah, blue black control with the Thopter Sword combo. Urza, are we oh Wurza. Yeah. Okay. Wurza. Cancel everything I just said. It's Wurza. Astral Plane 5 0. Astral Plane. What'd we get? We've got Kiln Fiend. The Daniela special. Uh, mono red prowess. Yep. Edelbardu with blue white stone blade. Jace, a couple to fairies. Your control stuff and your stone forge batter skull finish. The Hydra with goblins. I love goblins. Hellkite overlord. Nice. Flying Trample Haste. I think we saw this build last time around with the Dragon's Herald and the Hellkite Overlord. So I'd have to go back and see if it was the same person who got it through, but we definitely saw this last time. So uh, that's two, two drops in a row now that this deck has made it. So be curious to see if that continues. AC Justice with Storm. Yeah. Storm. One Grape Shot and one Empty the Warren's main. So you can't meddling mage them out of their win con. At least not easily. Aria Flame in the side. Uh, no Pyromancer's Ascensions currently in this build. Karavak with Inverter. In, so this is... I saw the spoils of the vault and I was thinking ad nauseum. But this is inverter instead of ad nauseum. The curse, these two cards together, or these three cards together, just ported back into modern. That's disgusting. Yet another combo deck. Okay. Newspaper. Humans. With Unsettled Mariner. This is... Yep, five color humans. The standard five. 18 lands. I don't think I ever went below 19 when I was running humans. 18's aggressive. Tuganaxos with Scape Shift. Blue green Scape Shift. Our win con is Valakut. 
and you don't need any mountains in the Valakut deck because you also have Field of the Dead and you also have Dryad. So I guess the way to stop this deck is to get rid of the Dryads. Uh, Prismatic Omen as well. So he's got redundancy here. Okay. Uh, Rosansky with Clothus Red Green Aggro. We've got Arbor Elf, Bloodbraid Elf, Bone Crusher, Glorybringer, Magus, Chandra. This is. Magus in the Moon's interesting here. Yeah, Utopia Sprawl. Um, yeah, sort of. It's in between a true aggro deck and Ponza a little bit because you are trying to get a mana resource imbalance with this deck. Uh, choke in the side, not a surprise. Um, that's been seeing more play lately. Kind of expected to see Boil here, but that's going after the same people. So it's just how you want to go about it. Anders, Porv uh, Anders Povrk, Povrk with Dredge. Um, yeah, Dredge. It is what it is. And it'll always be around until they ban it. Um, Tarxar 1990 with another Titan deck. This one is not Scapeshift, but it is Valakut. Um, no Uros. So this is just Titan. Black Green Titan. Abrupt again. Interesting. Okay. Splashing black for removal. And that's really it. Splashing black for removal. Titan's a strong card. Is it the best creature in modern? Probably. Or is Ice Fang Quattle? That's. Or Uro. I think it's Titan. Aspiring Spike. What's he up to these days? Uh, we are on. some god-awful Planeswalker Super Friends deck. Planeswalker Control. We want to ramp stuff out. We've got Utopia Sprawl, Arbor Elf, Birds of Paradise. We're just ramping into walkers and winning the game that way. Um, sure. What? Uh, we've got Karn, so we've got our wish board. Huh. I like it. That... I, I'm going to be curious to see if they stick with this deck. Um, look for it in next in the next uh, dump and see if it's there. 21 walkers is, is um, aggressive. I almost feel like I'd want to put a Miser's uh, doubling season in here just for laughs, but I don't know. North Woodsman with... Is this is going to be Grixis Death Shadow, I think? Yeah, Grixis Shadow. Uh, three bottles, not four. We've got the one Royal Scions. Three Snapcaster Mages. Yep, Grixis Shadow. So that's our second Shadow deck. We've had Mardu and Grixis so far. Instant Q with uh, Crab Vine. Hedron Crab and Vinge Vine. And... I don't see anything odd in this build. Looks pretty straightforward. Exotic Herman with Jund, or is this just rock? Nope, this is Sultai because of Uro. So you can play your black green rock deck now really in four flavors. You can play Sultai here with Uro. You can play Jund just as traditional Jund, you can play black green without splashing a third color, or you can go junk and be splashing siege rhinos and um, lingering souls and white based removal and hate cards. Um, that archetype is a pillar and uh, I think Jund's doing the best right now, but it'd be interesting to watch this Sultai deck and see how it does. Soemba Airwave is on Regisaur, Croxa, Dark Confidant, Unearth. Black Red Unearth. Um, 
the guys at MTG Grindcast aren't a fan of this deck. Um, three Skelemintals. It's it's a resource denial, uh, resource advantage deck, I guess, because your unearths are getting a whole bunch of stuff back. Um, unearths got your three drops, so you've got Pyromancer is going to give you card advantage. Regisaur is huge for the side for the cost. Skelemental has haste and uh, gives you card advantage by making them discard. Crocs are the same. Dark Confidant, we all know what he does. Um, here's Boyle on the side. So a different way of jundling them out, so to speak. Um, this is kind of a blend between, I don't know, it's not really 8-rack. Uh, because you're not punishing them for not having cards. You're just not letting them have cards. Um, yeah, and it, I've, this deck has been popping up more and more now as people are starting to uh, latch on to Croxa. And I think Croxa is kind of the key to the deck here. Snapcaster Mage. You're not playing Snapcaster Mages. I feel cheated. Uh, this is Etron, Eldrazi Tron. Uh, it is what it is. Um, this deck is as good as Chalice of the Void is. So, yeah. Edu Fonseca with the Greater Gargadon deck. This is... Oh, Crack the Earth. Wow, this is... I hate all your lands. This is, if this guy could run Armageddon, he would. This is basically trying to... Um, destroy your opponent's ability to cast spells. Soul Tithe. Wow. Um, and for the full four mana tithes, because nobody expects the second one, right? Um, yeah, this is trying to deny your opponent's ability to cast spells while, um, winning with Greater Gargadon. And maybe a Johnny Vengeance, but, or one of your Planeswalkers, but, yeah. Matthew Folks. What is he up to? He is up to Urza Emery Shenanigans. Grinding Station combo deck. Yep. So the Breach Station deck. This is that combo deck that's been popping up. And here's another 5-0 with it. Uh, Yogmoth combo from Mash Malofsky. Black Green Yogmoth. Um, you're hearing me say the word combo a lot. Modern is starting to move that direction quite a bit, it seems. I'm not sure I like that, but there's many different ways to do it. We've got Storm, we've got um, Druid, we've got Breach Grinding Station, we've got Yogmoth Grolf's Messenger and Sack Outlets. We've got a variety of different ways to combo. Um, yeah, okay. Um, you would think Control would do well in that sort of meta, but then you've got Titan decks. So, yeah. Um, here is Five Color Niv Mizzet, Mordekaiser. What do we have in your build? We've got a Croxa and two Uros. Croxa, you're not seeing as much in the Niv Mizzet builds. Um, I'm a member of the Discord, and they've kind of not been a fan of Croxa in the deck. Um, it doesn't really do what the deck is trying to do, where Uro does it better. Um, so, good to see a little divergence here. One Ashiok main is a little a little odd, but I get it. It's especially with all the Titan decks that are around and trying to uh, stop searching of libraries. Uh, Ashiok is good for that. Um, three Lightning Helix, not four. One Unmoored Ego main, no wishes. Yeah, this is this is a decent tweak. Um, there was a discussion a while back in the Discord about the Gemstones Caverns in the side, and I'm, I don't remember exactly when they bring them in. Um, but they are, they're useful at times. Nikachu, which version of Merfolk is this? This is Mono Blue again. Um, this probably got posted in addition to the other one because he's doing Snow Covered Islands, and I don't think the other guy was. So I don't see any snow payoff. So for aesthetics purposes, I guess. 
Uh, Stainerson with Pyromancer, Yawgmoth. This is another black red uh, unearth deck. Not as heavy on the unearths. Um, this is a Croxa deck. This is really focusing on Croxa. Lilia, yeah. Um, Ransack the Labs is the black uh, strategic planning. Interesting. RNG Specialist is not playing a very random deck. He's playing blue-white control. He's playing Sahili combo. That's what he's playing. Um, yeah. Uh, again, another combo deck, right? Lexinator 22. This is another Grixis Death Shadow. Uh, this one is four color shadow. Uh, it's Traverse. So we are blue, red, black, and green. We are four color in this one. So our third shadow deck now, four color, Grixis, and Mardu. Scrug092, this is uh, this is big green red, green red monsters. Glorybringer, Inferno Titan, Clothis, Magus of the Moon. This is this is your scaled down Ponza deck. It's it's got a little more of the Ponza roots than the one we saw earlier with the pillages. Um, the Utopia Sprawls and the Inferno Titans. Um, that's much more traditional Ponza, but uh, yeah, this is this is a more aggressive version of that. Dorsel with Jund. Croxa, Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, so here's your traditional Jund um, version of Black Green Rock. Theo Young, I'm assuming it's Young, it might be Young, with Urza. This is the Cryptic Lock, Mystic Sanctuary Cryptic deck. Uroza, I guess they're calling it. Yep, Uroza. Uro and Urza. Riley Curran with a Devoted Druid deck. Heliod combo and this one. This one's got a couple of combos. We've got the Vizier Druid combo. We've got the Heliod Walking Ballista uh, Spike Feeder Kitchen Finks. Pick your combo deck. Um, this one's got all of them. Um, or it's got a bunch of them. Uh, Ranger Captain to find all your combo pieces. Um, yeah. Uh, this, this is starting to become a bigger version of the devoted druid deck. Now that Heliod's out, you can you can make this work. Um, I'm a little surprised to not see Eldamri's call in here. I think that might be a little better than Coco in this, but uh, either way, the study group with a flicker deck, blade splicer, flicker wisp. So restoration angel. This is this is white hate bears. Pretty much white hate bears. Thalia. Arbiter. Flicker wisp. Giver of runes to protect everything. Yeah. Dark keeper with Neobrand. That's all I need to say about that. I don't understand why this deck is allowed to exist in the format. It other than it's not very good, but. The game, there aren't fun games here. They either kill you immediately or they struggle massively. And there's really not much in between. So, yeah, I guess. Um, Tamuland with this escape shift with Bloodbraid Elf. So, Titan Shift. This is a little. A little aggressive. I, Bloodbraid Elf surprises me a little bit, and I bet it surprised the opponents a little bit. Um, but yeah, there you go. Red green, kind of popular today. Jerry O twenty, Bloodgast, Smallpox, Aaron. This one's right down your alley. 
Smallpox. Bitter Blossoms. Yeah. Another resource denial deck. The Pen Sword with Blue Red Control. Growl and Narset. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely this is probably trying to win with Rao, either Snapcaster beats or Rao Ultimate. Uh, I don't see many other. Even a Wandering Fumarol in the yeah, so this is this is a definitely blue red control deck. Um, it's trying to shut you down and then slowly kill you. Cookton with. So this is the, is this 8-ball, I think they were calling it? There's no ball lightnings in it, though. But another Gargadon. Great, this is the second Greater Gargadon deck today. Um, Unearth, Skelementals, Croxa. This is, let's see what kind of, it's sort of a reanimator deck, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. Red-black reanimator. Uh, seeing what kind of big stuff you can get out of your graveyard. And keep your opponent off hands, uh, off cards in their hand while you're doing it. Teston with uh, Wurza with the Goblin Engineer build. So this is a different, very different build than what we saw earlier. Um, I think there's still two camps, yes or no, on Engineer in your Wurza deck. Um, I have not played it to know what's better. Uh, Guitar 90X with uh is this so this is jund shadow so now we've seen all four we've seen mardu we've seen grixis we've seen four color and now we've seen jund so pick a shadow deck they're all in here whichever one suits your style better uh chahi chafi chafi i guess um i love english and all the many different ways you can pronounce a gh uh, this is Blue White Stone Blade. Yeah, it's well, or Blue White Control was. I, I mean, they all kind of feed off of each other a little bit, but this is more of a Stone Blade deck, I think, than a Control deck. This seems a little more tempo based. Uh, fewer Planeswalkers, um, Brazen Borrowers, Clicks. So it's a it's a little more. Tempo based. So blue white tempo, I guess. Stone blade. Uh, Uro. Nexus. I don't want any part of Nexus of Fate. I think that card was a massive mistake. But if you like that sort of thing, here is a reclamation deck with Nexus of Fate that you might like. Cone with a, another blue red comp, blue red control deck. Um, yeah, what's the difference between this one and the one we just had? That one's Rao based. A little Rao and Narset with Snapcaster Mage is the creatures. And Cone is on very few. This is uh, more of a pyro version of the deck. So it's trying to kill you through that. Um, it's not the Mardu Pyro deck of old. It's much more control -y than that was. Uh, Big Dantigue, as opposed to Little Dantigue, with Burn. Uh, this is the traditional red-white burn that we've gotten used to with the Boros Charms and the Lightning Helixes. Um, yeah, not much to say there. That's Burn. Uh, here is another Uro. This is Bant Snow yeah, this is the Bant Snow Control deck. Um, predict with his uh, his attempt here. Caleb Durard, what are you on? You're on Polymorph. There's always something in Indominal Creativity and Polymorph. Sure, let's make tokens with Dwarven Mine and Polymorph them into Immercools. That sounds like a plan to me. Um... Glad to see the 5-0 here. I bet that was a pretty entertaining stream. FG Fonseca 182 with Ponza. 
this one is much more the Ponza. We've got the seven land destruction spells. Um, no Inferno Titan. That's what you typically see in this deck, but Clothis is kind of doing an impression here. Thrun and Hex Drinker can get around removal. Um, Karn Wishboard. Yeah. And that's it. Um, some interesting stuff here. Uh, this little take on Ponza I kind of like. Caleb Deward with his Polymorph and Domino Creativity deck. Uh, we saw a lot of combo in this dump. I'm, we'll have to watch for trends there and see how that all shakes out. Uh, that's it. That's it for the week. I'll be back on Monday with Pioneer and the Pioneer League dump on Monday. Uh, hope you've enjoyed these this week. I uh, hope they are helping you get through um, some kind of trying times with COVID and the lockdowns and uh, inability to interact in person with other people. Um, so take care of yourself out there and uh, enjoy the games. Bye-bye.